Hello guys, a very good morning to everyone. Today I come up with a very useful and important topic. And in this topic, I'm going to talk about how to configure the Jenkins Lab node and how we can use this node inside the pipeline script as a agent or node. Guys, nowadays we see that we mostly run Jenkins as a pod. Now, what is, what is the challenges when running Jenkins as a pod? Let's suppose that we need to install some customized plugin. Let's suppose that we need to run some Salesforce command. In order to run the Salesforce command, we need to install some Salesforce plugin over there so it can support the Salesforce command. Now, since pod is running as a replica set and somehow we able to install the plugins inside the pod, then what will happen? Since pod is running as a replica set and somehow if that pod is getting deleted, we will be lose our install plugin. In such cases, we must need to configure some node, some agent where we can permanently install these plugins. So even though when pod is getting deleted, still we will be able to run our Salesforce command. That is all we are going to see and that is the importance to setting up the Jenkins lab as a node, as a agent. These all things we are going to see in this particular tutorial. So without any further delay, let's just start. So hello guys. My name is Avinash and you are watching the learning destinations. I request you to those who, are, who haven't yet subscribed my channel, please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon as well. So without any further delay, let's start this tutorial. Okay guys, so now let's get back to return on the practical sessions and this session is going to be thoroughly the practical sessions and now I am going to show you that how you can configure the Jenkins slab. Okay, so this is one of the machine where my Jenkins is currently running. So let me check the status of the Jenkins. So you can see that the Jenkins is already running. Now let's access this Jenkins node. Now this Jenkins node IP is 192.168.56.1. One zero nine. The password which I already saved. The moment when you log in inside the Jenkins DOS dashboard, you need to go manage Jenkins. And after that, there is options called manage nodes and clouds. You need to say new node. And I am saying the name of slab node. Then after that descriptions, you can give anything. I'm just keeping the same number of executor one remote root directory. This root directory, you need to give the directory of your slab node. Okay. So I'm going to give home Avinash and uh, labels. I can give slab node here. Different different options like use this node as much as possible only build job when level expression matches this role. I keep use this node as much as possible and then from here launch agent by connecting it to the master. So I say launch agent via SSH and I'm going to give the ad IP address of the machines which I'm going to use as a slab node. Okay, so that machine IP is 192.168.56.106. So the this is another VM I do have and let me check the IP address. So currently the IP address is 106. So I have two nodes as of now. One is the Jenkins where the master is running and its IP address is 109. And this is the second machine where, where I'm taking this machine as a Jenkins lab and the IP address is 106. Okay. Now credentials, I have already created the credentials, right? And uh, it's a very easy to create the credentials. Let me show you manage Jenkins. You can go to manage Jenkins and you can go to manage uh, credentials, right? And here you can see that I have already configured. So you can add like this. You can go to there add credentials and you can put username and password, right? So as of now, you can see that I am taking as a root user, but it's not recommended if you are configuring for your production grade system, you must 
customize your user you should not use the root account because it has the full privileges so you create some users give some special privileges only related to your jenkins job and you can configure it and then you can use it here so as of now i am taking as a root because this is just for testing purpose so i haven't created any additional user account over there okay so we and in this host key verification strategy we don't need it we can say non verifying uh, verification strategy so that's all and then say save okay now we need to check that as of now you can see that it is not online so let's go and relaunch the agent so here we can see the logs whether it is successfully connected or not our slab is up or not so you can see the message the agent is connected disconnect it before to try to connect it again okay so now agent successfully connected and online right now so we can use this agent in our pipeline script okay now let's check earlier you can see that there was a cross symbol was coming since it was not online but now it's a connected so you can see that this cross symbol has already gone okay so our jenkins slab is currently online it has been successfully connected we have gone through the configurations now the time is to test this agent whether it's running or not and in under the testing i am going to write one pipeline script and i will execute some command using this particular slab okay guys so now i am going to write one pipeline script and i say new item pipeline i say slab testing and i selected the pipeline okay after that just i am going to write some groovy script here so i am taking node and we need to give the node name so actually the slab hyphen node node we can check the slab name is slab hyphen node so the same we need to mention here okay now we need to give the steps and i say a step is first step is testing now i am going to run some command here and i say echo and i say my first testing or test is successful or test is successful okay now let's close it we can delete this double quote as well no need to give this one now i am going to add another steps step sorry rather than a step we can call it as a stage so stage and here i say deployment and call it as sh deployment is successful okay so now let's try to run this pipeline script say build now let's see the logs so now a script is having okay deployment come on okay so i need to give echo actually because deployment itself is not the command so i need to put here the echo first right now it will run successful apply save let's try now once again so now it is successful okay so you can see that it is successfully connecting with the slab node since we have used running on the slab node and we have successfully run this command test is successful deployment is successful right so now earlier i had taken the example of salesforce so now let's suppose that you need to run some salesforce command you can simply install the salesforce plugin on this particular machines right and then you can write your pipeline script and then you can use it 
So rather than the echo, here I had run the echo command. So you can give particular the Salesforce command and you can successfully run it. Regards of that, the your particular the Jenkins master here in my case it is running on the virtual machines. However, in your case it will be suppose it will be running on the pod, but still since you have now the permanent agent and you can simply install the customized plugin on the agent and you can use it here. So that is all guys which I wanted to show you. So I hope now you can successfully configure your Jenkins lab. And if you have any questions, write me in the comment sections, guys. I will help you there. That's all for the day, guys. So I hope now you completely clear about the Jenkins lab architectures. And if you have any questions, write me in the comment section. So stay tuned with the learning destinations for upcoming tutorial. Thank you so much for watching this guys and guys I need your support please subscribe my channel and share it with your friends and the colleagues. I will see you in my next tutorial till the time you have a very very lovely and good day. Thank you so much for watching this guys and please don't forget to subscribe.